Hi everyone, it's Duncan Epping, yellowbricks.com, and today I'm going to show you a new feature which was introduced as part of vSAN 8.0 Update 1, and in particular was released for vSAN ESA, vSAN Express Storage Architecture. Now, this new feature is called Auto Policy Management, and basically what it does is it's going to create a new policy based on the size and the capabilities that are enabled of your cluster. So if you have a stretch cluster configuration or if you have a particular size of cluster, it's going to create a policy which aligns with those capabilities. As you can see in this particular case, it has created a new policy which is called Cluster Optimal Data Store Default Policy Rate 6 and it has been assigned to my particular data store. Now, of course, if I would have a smaller cluster, it's not going to create a similar policy that we've just seen in this larger cluster. It's going to create a different policy. In this particular case, the only option that you would have is to create a RAID 1 configuration. So when we enable auto policy management, that is what, what it's going to do for this particular cluster. And I think that is the unique capability that we offer with this brand new feature. Now, of course, on top of that, besides being able to create these new vSAN policies based on the size of your cluster and the capabilities enabled on your cluster, if changes are introduced, in your cluster itself. So let's say you actually reconfigure the cluster from a normal cluster to a stretch cluster configuration, or you add additional hosts to the cluster itself. What is then going to happen is that it's not going to automatically make changes to the policy, but it's going to warn you through Skyline Health that you will need to make manual changes to the policy itself. Now you may ask yourself, why do we not automatically apply those changes? Well, you can imagine that when we automatically would apply those changes, a lot of resync traffic will need to incur and in this particular or those particular situations you probably want to manage when you want to, to see that happening so you may want to do that for instance during maintenance hours so that is why we trigger a health check and the health check of course then will enable you to make those changes manually hopefully with that we've been able to show you what the benefit is of this capability i hope the demo was useful thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time